Hi, my name is Pascal and in this video we will see in detail how to use the navigation settings to reach a certain point with your Garmin Tactics or Garmin Phoenix. Usually the video on this channel is very short to go straight to the point, but since explaining how to use the navigation settings on this kind of watch is something that will take time, I will chapter that video. So if you need to see something specific, you can use the chaptered timeline at the bottom of the video. So let's start just right now. Uh, as you can see on the watch, I am actually onto an activity because my guess is that if you want to use the navigation settings, you are probably on an activity like walking, hiking, cycling, running or something like that. So actually, I'm already onto a walk activity. And if I want to reach the navigation tools, I will need to press and hold the menu button on the left and go down to navigation. Navigation, as you can see just right here, is the same thing as if you are on the main page and you press the start stop button. But actually, if I press it, I will come back to my activity. But uh, if you press that button while you are on the uh, main page, it will take you to your activity list and then you will be able to select navigation. But as we are onto an activity, I press and hold the menu button and go down to navigation. From here, I have access to the very same menu and I will start with the very first option and go to the very last. So point of interest. If I'm going here, uh, I can choose to uh, navigate to a city, food and drink, fuel service, lodging, attraction, entertainment, re recreation, shopping, transportation, auto services, community, hospital, others, geographic points, tides, and all PUEs, which is all of what we have just seen. And so if, by example, I am on a big cycling trip and I go at and, and I know I need to go to a city that is not too far, that is named Waterloo, but, well, I don't know in which direction it is or uh, how to reach that city. So I can search for cities. As you can see, you can go into Around Me and you will have a map where you can choose where you want to go, uh, in which direction you, you, you will go. So if I know that I need to go north, uh, I will point north. Uh, you, you can point the direction you go and take a look. But as you can see, actually, it says no map point because I didn't let the time to the watch to search. As you can see now, since we have wait, there is few cities that we that are uh, down there. And if I come back to around me, well, now there is some point. So I can know that into that direction, there is uh, Bolton, Foster, Fisher Point, Waterloo, uh, Lac Brom and all of those cities. Or uh, if I don't use the map, I can simply go down, and this will tell me uh, the, the the what the cities that are uh, around me. So the closest city is Roxton Pound, Roxton Sod, uh, Saint Joachim Shefford, Canton Shefford, Granby, Warden, Waterloo. So yes, if I want to reach Waterloo, well I can hit Waterloo. I can simply go see it on the map, save the location, or review it. Review will simply tell you, again, the name of the city, its elevation, the distance in straight line, and its uh, local loca location point. Uh, but if I want to go, I simply say go, and it will tell me on the map. Actually, as you can see, it is calculating it, and in few uh, minute, I will be able to, a few seconds, in fact, I will be able to follow a path. So now, actually, I know that I need to see, I'm actually here on the beach, and there's a path just right here. I'm 162 kilometers away from that uh, trail. So, once I'm on the trail, it will tell me where to go left, where to go right, and where to go straight. You got some, uh, if you, you go back into here, the menu, and you go into navigation settings. Um, by default, every data screens are on, and I encourage you to keep them on because th they are fun to use. Uh, we will see it in a few minutes. Uh, uh, the editing bug is an arrow you will see onto your screen that will tell you where to go. 
on alerts you can have uh, this one the turn prompt so if you want to have a every time you need to turn or arriving close to somewhere you turn if you have a lot of turn to do maybe you will find this annoying personally I set it to off but if I'm on a big trip I will probably set it back to on uh, then uh, I tell I told you that, that we're gonna see some other things uh, other page uh, you got right here uh, the destination you will you need to go so I need to go into that direction for a point 16 kilometers to reach my next gold which is the piste du parc de la Yamaska and then it will tell me that I need to go straight onto that direction and then turn left and this will tell you where to go this is your elevation plot so you will see that now I will need to climb a little bit and I will go down a little bit then I will go uh, flat for a bit and then it will start climbing up up to Waterloo, which is in 27.82 kilometers and finally you got the distance remaining the ETE is the estimated time remaining so the number of time you need to walk to reach that destination and the ETA is the estimated time of arrival so for example you will arrive at uh, 8 hours and 52 minutes and that's it so then you can return to the map and on the map if you want to see if you are if you want to have a bigger picture of it you can press and hold and use pan and zoom so once you are here you can zoom out to got a better picture of where you are going and you can zoom out as much as you need and the fun thing with that is that everything you see here is built in into the watch all the information you have all the city you can find all the restaurant hotel and everything you can find you don't need your phone and internet to got this you got it straight into the watch so yeah that's the bigger picture when you're done you can press the back button and then you turn back to that navigation setting then uh, if we go back here press the menu button and then go into uh, stop navigation because if you want to start a new navigation you need to stop the navigation and then we go into navigation again and we're gonna look for a point of interest if for example I want to go to a specific cities that is not very close you can go up and spell search so if by example I want to go to Montreal I can tap Mon and then when you're you're done typing it you go to the check mark select it and wait for it and then there's Montreal well not that one Montreal Quebec I don't know it, it, it it's weird it should be the first but anyway we got it Montreal Quebec and if I want to go there I select it and hit go and we are good to go uh, if we see food and drinks so again it will be around me if I press it right now there will, there will be nothing on the map but if I wait so that some other stuff come up uh, I've got a few options just right here I got the name of the restaurant you won't see uh, <laughs> if it's a good restaurant or not but you will see if there is a restaurant around you and then if you go into uh, around me you will be able to uh, look in a direction uh, again you can spell search so if you search for a specific restaurant you can spell just right here and if you want to search near some point you can search near a safe location a current location or a map point so if I'm adding uh, by example I, I will zoom out and I will go I don't know I will pick a very random uh, place just to make a quick search so if I want to select this place I will press and hold just right here use this map point yes and it will search the restaurant around this point 
and there we are so there's mcdonald's subway and those kind of restaurants so yeah that's the pretty pretty much uh, same uh thing with uh, all of point of interest uh, they all look the same lodging will find you the nearest hotel and you can always search for a specific name and search around a specific place then next option around me is exactly the same thing as we have seen uh, and then we've got back to start so if you want to go back to where you were at the beginning you can track back so this will simply uh, turn you back to that screen where you can see the red trail is where you have pass in the in the in the fall in the previous minutes or hours so you can come back straight onto your path the other option will be to uh navigation and then back to start again route so this one will not take you to the same uh, maybe maybe it will be the same uh uh, path you have used but it will be the shortest route to go back to your car so actually well the I pretty much I pretty much did a straight line but as you can see I'm on the beach just right here and it will tell me to reach that trail that is just right there and then follow it up to the parking where my car is uh, well yes actually I'm close but uh, that's how it works and if we come and see just right here again we have the same navigation tools that tell me in which direction to go the elevation plot and the distance remaining with the ete and eta so that's it for this uh next stop navigation again and go to navigation what do we have we've got course course if you have create a course into the Garmin Connect app we will see this into another video but uh, actually as you can see I am at uh, Parc de la Yamaska which is that one and uh, you see behind me there is that uh, lake so if I want to do the tour of the lake that's something I have registered into my watch so I can do course and you will see uh, right here on the map that there will be a blue line that do uh, the trail that do all the tour of the lake behind me uh, and if i want to see it in detail i can use pan and zoom zoom out and you will be able to see that there is that uh, trail that go all around that lake yeah when, and then uh that's stop navigation yes go back to navigation and then what do we have course activities activities will be the same thing as a course but it will be a recording of your previous activity so if you want to go at the exact same place you have been in a previous activity follow the same trail you can use one of your previous activity and follow the same path you got save location again this is in your Garmin Connect application you can uh, register some place or uh, you, you can even register a uh, location with your watch and well it will be the same thing as the other PeeWee we've seen before uh, you can go back to those place sight and go is a very funny feature uh, it will take you to the compass and why the compass it's because you uh, for example you see there's that lake behind me and if I want to go straight to the other side uh, you probably don't see it but there's an antenna and if I want to reach that antenna that is not too far from the ridge uh, I can point that antenna so I will take the watch point it uh, actually I'm not in a position that I can point really carefully but let's say for example I, I do it really carefully you point it and you select it oops okay I accidentally touch a button okay so I select it and this will take me to that page uh, so it tells me that I need to go into that 
direction for 80.6 kilometers. Why 80.6 kilometers? It's not the distance. Well, why? Why? It's because I don't know the distance. It's hard to evaluate. What is the distance to the other side of the lake? It's probably five to 10 kilometers, but is it six, seven, nine? I don't know. I don't know. So 80.6 kilometers is probably the farthest you can see with a clear view at the top of a mountain. And that's why it's there. That doesn't mean the other side of the lake is at 80.6 kilometers. The idea is just to create a straight line that will eventually reach the point that you see. And when you will reach that point, you will know you reach that point. So we've got this, of course, because actually if I want to go through the other side of the lake, I will not be able to go there in straight line, except if I want to swim it but I don't. So I will want to go there by walking and I will need to take the trail that go around. And by doing all of that tour at some point, I will not know where I am accordingly to that place and around the lake. So uh, if we come here to the map, as you can see, it did create a straight line. So when I will reach the other side, well, I will know uh, because I will be on my straight line. So yeah, I'll need to point it into that direction. And you see the line crossing the lake and uh, the point I, uh, I point is around just right here. So when I will reach it, I will know that I reach my destination. That is th this is more something that you use um, when you are in a big field in a desert, uh, something where there is no physical thing that you can recognize. Uh, if you're lost in the desert, that would probably be the best feature to go in straight line to eventually go out. And I already did a video, if you want to see it, where I uh, use that feature, uh, you will see it in, in more detail in the video on the upper right corner. Next feature. I will stop course, yes, and go to navigation. The next one will be site and go. We've got coordinates and use map. Uh, use map actually would probably better uh, option to reach the other side of the lake, uh, but we will go in order. There is coordinates, so if you know exactly where you want to go, because uh, probably maybe you have a friend that is stuck in the wood and call you for help and it tell you it's, it's exact coordinate well you can input it just right here if you press start and stop you can uh, oops. if you press up and down you can change from north north to south and then you change the point where you want to go so if by example my friend is just right there i keep going with start stop to select i can select west or east and keep going and yeah it's it is at this destination and when you reach the end you set done and it will calculate uh, where to go to reach your friend and that, that will be again exactly the same uh, setting it will give you the best path to go uh, to, the best trail to use to go at this position and then if you need to go in the bush well it will follow <laughs> the point into the bush uh, well it will calculate and it would be again the exact same thing so I'm not gonna wait for it I'm gonna stop navigation and go to the very last option that would be uh, the use map so again if I want to go on the other side of the lake as you can see I am just right here at the moment I will zoom out and Go right there to the other side of the lake. And now I can even zoom in to be sure of where I want to go. And oh, there's a trail just right here. So yes, I want to go on that trail on the other side of the lake. And when I want to select it, I will press and hold that start stop button to select it and then said go. And again, it will calculate the itinerary to go at this very uh, destination. 
One very important point that I almost forgot is that when you are navigating to somewhere, uh, you, you have some root option. So if you press and hold the menu button, and this time you will go into bike settings or walk settings, depending of the activity you are, and you can go down here to routing. And from here, you can select uh, the, the type of road you want to use. So do you want to use a road cycling, motorcycling, uh, car, <laughs> uh, the fastest route possible, any route it is, uh, ATV off-road, mountaineering, hiking, run and walking. So yes, if you are walking, you don't want to use uh, the car road. Of course, you will want to use the best trail, maybe in the forest or, uh, well, the best one you can use by walking. Uh, and anyway, you, you select the, ki the kind of roads you want and you also got uh, popularity routing. Uh, so that is based by the uh, Garmin community. Uh, and uh, method, uh, uh, yeah, you can minimize, minimize distance, minimize time or use uh, a route that uh, got the less ascent. And you can also avoid Toll road, major highway, unpath road, ferries, and uh, Nauru's trail. So I think we've pretty much done the tour of how to use the navigation tools onto the Garmin Tactics or Garmin Phoenix. I hope this was helpful. So if you have any question, you can ask in the question below or see my other tutorial that I will link in the upper right corner in a few seconds. I hope this was helpful. And I hope to see you again in another video. So this is it. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps. If yes, please smash the like button. If you are planning to buy this watch, you can see my link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can find me back easily next time you need help. If you want to see my other tutorial about this watch, you can see my playlist just right here. And you can also find me on my main channel just right there. Thank you for watching. Take care. <laughs> see ya.